Howdy ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to preserve your baseband and upgrade to iOS 5 using Snowbreeze on Windows. So Windows users, I haven't forgot about you. Make sure you have your firmware for your iPhone located nearby. Go ahead and download Snowbreeze. The uh, download link is in the description. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and open up Snowbreeze here and get to business. Now the first thing you want to do is just click OK, then close credits, and then you want to click the next button in the bottom right hand corner. And then you should see this Dragon IPSW. So you want to select your firmware, drag the firmware right onto that location. It should recognize the phone and device and firmware. Click Next. And then select Baseband Preservation Mode and click Next. Now you'll get this reminder that this does not actually jailbreak. It only preserves the base baseband for upgrades. So just click Yes there. And once we have done that, then you should see this waiting for IPSW to finish being built. So you can just close that out right there and then just wait and this is going to take a while because it's actually building you a new firmware file. And I'm speeding it up here for your convenience so you don't have to wait and hear me ramble. So now we should almost be complete creating our IPSW. And you should see done. Next, you want to verify your newly created firmware. Just make sure it exists on your desktop. So there it is to the right. It says Snowbreeze. It's prefixed with Snowbreeze so you can easily identify it. Next, we want to go ahead and put the phone in a DFU mode. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and put the phone in a DFU mode now. I uh, highly recommend you do it prior to doing this just to make it easy on you. All right, once it's in DFU mode, as my phone is right now, you can see it's all black screen. Then you can go ahead and click the start button at the bottom of the DFU owner page. So just click start and then it should put the phone into phone DFU mode and it's going to run iRib. This is just a normal process. And now it is, your device is now in Pwn DFU state black screen. You can now launch iTunes and do a shift restore. And this is necessary so that iTunes can recognize your custom firmware and restore your iPhone using your newly created firmware. So it needs to be in this Pwn DFU mode. So now we're done with Snowbreeze. You can just click OK, close credits, and then close out using the X. And now let's get down to business with iTunes. Just gonna load up iTunes here. And there we go. This takes just a second. Uh, windows, Windows, Windows. Okay, so now iTunes should detect your iPhone in recovery mode. Click OK. Hold Shift. Click Restore. Find your Snowbreeze firmware. Make sure you choose the Snowbreeze firmware. Click OK. Then click Restore. And now iTunes should restore your iPhone to the custom firmware, which bypasses the baseband upgrade. And you'll see your iPhone start to do its thing and then you'll see the snow breeze logo with the status bar proceeding to fill and now it's almost finished of course i've sped things up considerably but this is for again your convenience so you don't have to wait too long for this tutorial now the iphone is completely restored as you'll see from this little message here uh, you can just click ok there so now we're pretty much done that's that's pretty much the whole gist of preserving your baseband let me just reiterate that this does not jailbreak your device. All this does is allow you to update to iOS 5 while preserving your unlockable baseband. That's all this does. If you want to jailbreak, of course, you can go back and jailbreak another time and then wait for Ultra Snow to be released for iOS 5.0 and then unlock your device using Ultra Snow. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope this uh, was handy for Windows users. I know a, a lot of Windows users felt left in the dark. So now Windows users are up to speed just like Mac users. Uh, using red snow, you can use Snowbreeze to preserve your baseband. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.